Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's 3 o'clock p.m. I got up at about 12. Got to bed at 5 after finishing the Christmas stuff inside. I got the couch back today, cleaned the floors, so that's pretty much all done in there. But I'm outside now. I'm having to wear a jacket, which is a bit foreign, but that's what we have to do. And since I've been here, it looks like we've had some, some probably women over at the house who don't know where the driveway is, so they cut this about, what do you think, four feet too short. Yeah, this is what things look like in daylight. We've got quite a bit of snow, but it's melting quickly. Every few minutes I hear big pieces of it fall off the roof and off bushes, and it's creaking around out here. But the roads are somewhat dry. I've got to go to the bank, so uh, we're going to take the M5. We'll see how that's been after a week. It is still here. It does still unlock. I'm going to have to push it forwards a few feet, or I'm going to get a black wall. So I'll do that, and then we'll see how she cranks. <laughs> Okay, well, that was a fail. I can't push the car forwards. It appears to be frozen to the ground. Lovely Ohio. So here's the solution. Paper towels taped on the exhaust tips. Friggin' rights. That's how we do it with an M5. In the car now. It was in neutral. The handbrake is not on. So I don't know why it's not moving. I, maybe it is actually frozen. Supposedly 40 in here. All right. Starts like a champ. Not one problem. Look at that. 1,000 RPM, fastened seat belts, 170, 287. It's 36 degrees outside. All right, she's running over there, but check this out. That's what the paper towels look like. That's the driver's side, and that's the passenger side from one start. Holy crap. Just realizing I haven't filmed anything since I got the car out. Um, it's 3.14 in the morning. It's been a relatively productive day. I got all the rest of the Christmas stuff down and stuff put back together, and that Ferrari thing is drying. When it's washed, this stays wet forever because it's really thick. But it's uh, been vacuumed. The couch is back. The lamp and picture are back. And Christmas is over, thank God. Um, I finally connected the Mac to the 2 terabyte drive and backed up a 440.04 gigabyte time machine backup. Excuse me. So that's backed up. Got everything, uh, all the, the raw clips to the vlogs over the last 10 days on the drive. So... Uh, I think that's done. The car was fine, ran really well. Um, I don't even know if I mentioned the hood cable. There's, there's the latch, the hood latch. There's a, a Bowden cable. You know, like you know, bike on a bicycle, the brakes. You squeeze the handle, then there's the metal wire inside of a. There's some sheeting in there to reduce friction, and then the plastic tubing outside. It's that kind of wire that goes from the latch through the firewall to a junction box and splits, and then goes out to the front of the car where it. Uh, unlock where it releases the hood. <clears throat> and Christmas morning I went to open the hood and the cable snapped right inside the car. So I had to cut it and I've been pulling it with pliers ever since to get into the hood. So I ordered the part just before we went to California. It came in and I installed it today. It took like two hours. I had to take the lower dashboard off, the steering wheel, some of the carpet, the foot, the dummy pedal. It's a huge pain in the ass, but it's done and it works fine. So. Uh, that's that's good. We've got a couple of videos going up on E39 Source. We got uh, Kenneth with a 2003 M5, and then we had uh, Hassan, if I'm saying that correctly, with your 2002 530 from LA. So that's up. I'm tired. I'm going to go and hit the sheets. Uh, I'm cold and I'm tired, so I'm going to do that. But today was kind of a catch up day, getting back in sync with things. I'm sorry I didn't film a lot, but the car started fine and ran really well. The smart car, I talked to my grandfather, that sat in a garage that probably never went much below 45 or 50 degrees. It's very well insulated. Um, the smart car ran quite a while the day before we left, the 29th. It even ran the 30th in the morning for a few minutes as we moved it around, moved the cars around, and it wouldn't start. So I guess it's that little 9 volt in there that Mercedes chose to use that doesn't hold a charge over seven or eight days. But that's it. Talk to you guys tomorrow, on, or today, I guess on Wednesday, the 9th of January, 2013. All right. Oh yeah, the other thing. Sorry the vlogs have been really late. I got home last night, you know, I did the Christmas stuff, and then I pretty much just calmed out. So uh, that vlog is actually going to go up tonight, and this one will probably be late too, but bear with me. We'll be back on schedule, hopefully tomorrow night. So, see you guys tomorrow.